What's going on, New Gaming Order? This is Alex Lexus, aka the New Jersey Juggernaut, coming at you with the head crush. What's going on? Today's topic is um, going to be broken up because the staff uh, or the spinoff entities with his uh, free play mode, tough, um, tough nerd toys, thumb thrasher gaming, and geeking out—they're all unavailable right now. But I will go solo today. Uh, probably just address one topic and go into everything else uh, tomorrow. Um, if not tomorrow, because I have church services probably Thursday. Like I said, I'm holding true to the schedule. This is our quick intro. Let's get it going. New gaming order brought to you by Fullscreen.net. Check them out. They're our partners. Let's open the reactor. Let's go. Courtesy of Michael Hurdle with MichaelHurdle.com. Make sure you check him out for all your graphic design needs. What you got in your crib? Shout out to Mike. All right. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get to this topic. All right. New game in order. I will type a greeting of welcome. Thank you for checking out our podcast for 6-13-2017. We are in the wake of E3. Uh, those other topics will require a lot of post-production. So I won't have anything significant to talk about in terms of that. I'll probably just skim over it. But I do want to address the elephant in the room. Uh, and it was kind of funny. You know, here's my thing. If you're not interested in a product, why worry about what the other camp is doing? And this article comes from PushSquare.com, and it just seems like a, a a swarm or a high for like PlayStation ponies and whatever. You know, I know it's gonna pinch a couple of folks. What I'm going to say, hopefully, hopefully we, you know, don't scare you on the way. But I do want to make an announcement. New gaming order has hit. It's milestone six months earlier than schedule. I wanted to get 10,000 subs for this channel and we surpassed that. We are now at 10,018 and I'm just blown away. Um, I'm actually going to do a, a shout out segment for the last 10 people that uh, made this happen. So thank you guys very much for that. Um, whatever it is, you know, donate, help us out. We're doing bigger and better things, and we're actually getting a hold of a niche group. So uh, I want to thank you guys so much. And Shin Takuma, I'm calling you out, brother. You said if we hit 10K subs, you're going to do something. So I'll put up or shut up. You know I love you, brother. So with that being said, um, a couple of folks are not too happy about comments made by Phil Spencer uh, after um, E3. So... E3 2017, Microsoft saying stupid things about the PlayStation 4 Pro. Now, I I read some I read this. What I'm gonna summarize is this. Um, Phil Spencer pretty much said that the Xbox One X, formerly known as the Scorpio, is not in the same league as the PlayStation 4 Pro. All right. There are some people who are butthurt by this. And it turns out that he says in his mind that the PlayStation or the Xbox One S is the competition for the Pro. I get where some of the, the Sony ponies are uh, kind of like, how could you say that? Because the Xbox One S is just an upscaler system. Okay. A little over overclocking here and there, you know. But I can see if I was a fanboy, I'd be kind of mad at that comment too. But from being on a neutral stance, even though I'm pro Microsoft, I, I have to say that he's somewhat right to a degree because I'm going to make a motorcycle analogy for those who uh, follow my Predator motorcycle page, Alex Lexus ZX Predator. Sub to that channel as well. Do a lot of unboxings for motorcycle gear and, and install videos, all that. But on that channel i probably might talk about this but uh for those who do know motorcycles you have the 600 cc class which is like a mid-grade bike you got the 1000s 
super sports bikes and then you have the hyper bikes which are like the busas and the zx14s right so now you got the ninja h2r this you know gallants of of awesomeness in the fastest land motorcycle ever created period that's not the jet bike that jay leno has but in any case the ninja h2r that's not even track legal number one number two not street legal and you can usually take it to like a airport runway strip that's how fast that thing is okay with a supercharger and all that so the xbox one scorpio can be on the level of the ninja h2r when you compare that to a hyper bike which is a 1400 cc or 1300 cc and then you have a 600 cc the h2r is a whole different animal okay so pretty much if the playstation guys are saying that oh yeah the scorpio was made to directly compete with the, with the playstation 4 pro when i think microsoft actually used the one s to to somewhat compete with it knowing full well it's underpowered and, and i get it i get it 100 percent but if they're classing the scorpio aka the xbox one x as something different or a pre premium product i get where phil spencer is coming from so i get where some of the folks are being being butthurt because it's almost seeming like uh phil spencer is getting cocky with the system and he's just like silly bitch your weapons cannot harm me he's a juggernaut like that's you know they're feeling themselves right now but with all intended purposes some of the comments down in in here do make sense like the games will make it all it can be now to caveat on some of the comments that i saw here they're like no games no games no games they they're about to add the original xbox live or the original xbox library to an already growing library of backwards compatibility with soon to have xbox one x enhancements to them you know i already have 212 games across the 360 that were backward compatible with the games that i have now that they give out for free there are games to be had the one thing i will say that sony did did is the big budget exclusives okay you can't get around that they, they did that right but um what i'm probably going to touch on later on in the podcast is some of the release dates we are in 2017 and then you're talking about god of war 2018 next year like okay i get it what's coming out this year you know what i mean but in any case some folks are a little tight some of the comments the only reason why i want to make this uh video is because um you got some folks who are pretty much like yeah well the original xbox is weak okay yeah that's why they did this mid cycle refresh or well twice actually you have the um the, the one the xbox one s and now you have the scorpio and the scorpio whatever microsoft had in their head with the scorpio now dubbed as the x or, or was xs or i gotta figure out how we're gonna identify these um consoles but yeah some of them are just a little uh, now I, I uh what was that uh we got one comment bad mouthing your competitor especially when it's popular and well sold as sony or the playstation 4 it's never a smart move makes you uh like a complete tool in the industry that you eat your words on that one because when microsoft went out and had the complete flop and debacle with the launch of the original xbox sony was directly taking shots at microsoft at their e3 talking about oh if you want to trade your games take a disc and tailoring their presentation off of all the fuck ups that microsoft made so get your life with that one like come on you now like looking further uh damn with that statement he's not just saying that the playstation 4 pro is weaker than the xbox one which it is he's implying that the standard ps4 is obsolete i i think they're reaching i don't think he even meant to say anything about the playstation original which i have right here uh collecting dust but uh i don't know i guess it's just your, your preference but here's my thing i don't think anybody should make 
a big deal out of what Phil Spencer said because Sony has done this in the past. You know what I mean? So if one company does it, it's okay. Or the the one that has the larger install base. But the minute Microsoft actually has something on Sony and they say something, oh yeah, Microsoft's bad. Come on, come on, like that that makes no sense to me whatsoever. But it's it's amusing to to say the least. But um. Well, he ain't wrong. Xbox One, uh, I'm reading this comment here, has no competition until it re it's released. So, yes, the S is the direct competition to the PlayStation 4. There you go. That Those are the dueling systems right now. With the PlayStation 4 Pro being more powerful. That's flat out, bar none, black and white, point blank period. Okay? So... Uh, when the Xbox One X is out, the developers can start patching games for both, and we'll see. Now, I like that. That's level-headed. You know what I mean? Because you just gotta wait and see. Because when we finally see that the Xbox One X as a unleashed powerhouse, a lot of folks who had the narrative, and the one thing I used to really think that crap gamer, shout out to him, um where I thought he was just a little too much with being pro Microsoft but I see some of the points that uh, were made because there's just so many people had this narrative and I even had one of my own friends tell me to my face oh the Xbox the one that you support so much is an inferior console it's weaker now not only did Microsoft go brawly first level went to that ascended Super Saiyan level and now oh yeah we don't care about power Oh, no, 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 no. Don't change the argument now because now they went away from, oh, the PlayStation 4 Pro is more powerful than the Xbox. Now it's like, oh, it's the exclusives. And Microsoft just added 22 exclusives to their lineup, although it's still not as vast as Sony is getting there. You know what I mean? So you, you're looking at Arc Systems that's bringing Dragon Ball. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighters Z, not Dragon Ball Z Fighters, or you know, the Z actually goes in with the fighters. That Shinwa explained it to me, but you hadn't you hadn't seen a Guilty Gear on on the Xbox. You haven't seen a lot of stuff on the Xbox. So now you're getting different um, exclusives plus timed exclusives. So they're in the right direction. So with some of these folks that are just trying to do damage control, stop it, like. At the end of the day, here's my thing. There's some g days gone for the PlayStation 4. I will be picking that up. Horizon Zero Dawn. And when that expansion comes back, I'll be picking that up as well. And this is coming from a pro Microsoft guy. So just be a fan of gaming and not be a fan boy. You know what I mean? That's some stupid shit. But in any case, let me know what you think. You know, are some people too sensitive over what Phil Spencer said? That the Scorpio is not even in the same not competing with the playstation 4 pro and it's actually competing with the s i mean let me know what you think leave your comments below make sure you rate comment and subscribe check me out on youtube here are our social media outlets i want to thank you guys for checking out my segment and um, i'll probably come back at you with the other news which is the e3 wrap up what sony and microsoft got right and wrong courtesy of the verge.com uh, who provided the information that I will dissect either tonight or tomorrow. So, um, if anything, any donations or support that goes to the show will go to enhancing the equipment, picking up games early, and uh, doing breakdowns and streams and whatever upon request. So, make sure you inbox Alex Lexis at any of these social media outlets. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.